On June 6th, Cody Barlow logged on to Facebook, uploaded a picture of his truck, and started writing. Found a way to show my support for Pride Month. I simply bought rolls of brightly colored duct tape and ran them across my tailgate in the design of a Pride flag and added some mailbox letters. Some mailbox letters that would tell all on the country roads of Oklahoma what side of the rainbow Cody stands on. Obviously doing this isn't going to change the minds of those who are intolerant, but hopefully it can help drown out the hatred with love. It doesn't matter what negativity I receive for supporting this. I hope that this can help even the slightest bit to encourage and support at least one person that needs it. One person? No. By this afternoon, Cody's message of inclusion and love has gotten to at least 142,000 people. Cody, I grew up in a place just like you are. Why did you do this? Talking to my family and my friends, co-workers, fellow service members, and whoever else, it helped me understand just a little bit more what they had gone through and the things they had dealt with in their life and the kind of hatred they received and the judgment and feeling like they were disowned by their family or their friends or that they couldn't even tell them. It helped me get a better perspective. That takes guts. I don't feel like it takes anywhere near what it takes to, to come out and tell people who you really are or who you love. Dealing with whatever negativity I, that comes with this, the, the things that people are saying to me, that, that's really nothing. I deal with this for a month and people in that community deal with it their entire lives. Negativity has come Cody's way, but it pales in comparison to the thousands of messages of love and support he has gotten. I mean, it's just overwhelmingly positive reactions and people commenting and sending me messages telling me some very heartfelt stories. I didn't realize it was going to have this much of an impact on people's lives, but I'm, I'm glad it did. And I, that's, I mean, that's the purpose here is to, to reach out to these people that really need it. Pride parades don't happen in Cody's neck of the woods, but this June that's okay because Cody's truck on those country roads is in its own way a parade of pride where it's needed the most. That's why I did it on the truck and that's why I'm driving the truck around daily is so that it's out in the town, especially in these places where the people that don't want to see this need to see it. This is putting it right in their vision. I mean, it's, it's making them think about it. It plants that seed. We thank Cody for taking the time to talk to us today because he's doing interviews all over the world. The town he comes from in Oklahoma is just a couple hundred people, so not that big and pretty far away from the city.